Hi everyone, I'm Carol and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about painting light in this little wildlife scene. Before we get to that, I just wanted to remind you if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you subscribe, just make sure that you hit that bell so that you're notified whenever new videos come up. And so for this piece, what I started doing is just blocking in my main areas. I want to get everything down before I proceed to laying down all the hairs and detailing everything in this squirrel. And I started with my darks and laid down my eye. And basically what I want to do throughout this whole painting as I'm paint working on this squirrel is I just want to keep laying down a base in either in mid-tones or whatever is needed in certain areas. And then I build my hairs over top and I always use a minimum of three colors and I work my way up to more colors, always following the direction of the hair. And in this piece, it's important to note that I'm working or what I want to depict is warm evening sun. And my main purpose in this video is to show how to paint light without using white. A lot of people, when they're painting, they automatically resort to taking out the white tubes or the white uh, pencils. And I'm guilty of having done that a lot myself in the past. I used to always automatically reach for my lightest colored pencils and especially the white. And this is just not how we can achieve a nice warm luminous um, evening glow in this painting. So in order to accurately capture a nice warm evening glow, you're going to use warm colors. There will be no whites used in, um, in depicting the light in this squirrel. What I use throughout the whole painting to paint the fur, this is a brown squirrel, but to paint the fur and to make sure that I accurately depicted the light, I used yellows and oranges in various shades from very pale yellows to the darkest yellows. And as well for the oranges, I used very light oranges to the darkest, most bold reddish oranges. So using those in combination as well as my darks, I was able to succeed in, in, um, in recreating the warm evening sun. So by using these colors, I'm able to convey that this is an evening scene rather than an early afternoon scene where the light would be rather harsh. So there's a difference between light in various stages of the day. So morning light will be different from noon light and noon light will be different from evening light. So this was a lesson in um, executing that. And it's also equally important to understand your range of values as well as your shadowing in order to have the contrast required to bring your piece of art to life. So for example, if you see, I have um, quite intense shadow areas in this. There will be some strong contrasts. And these contrasts will make the light pop out more. So your colors are, are important, but you also need to understand how to use shadows appropriate shadows, which colors to use for your shadows, as well as having appropriate contrast. And all of these things harmonized together will give you a nice piece which makes sense. The viewer will look at it and they'll understand it and it'll make sense to the eye. They'll automatically know this is an evening scene. I did use some lighter cream colored pencils just in areas where white fur is being depicted. But even there, I did not use any white to depict the white fur. I used other lighter colors to also recreate that warm evening sun. Had I used any white pencils at all while painting light in this scene, we would not have the same effect at all. I would not have been able to capture um, that nice warm glow and it just wouldn't look the same. So no whites makes better light. Whites do have their place, except not when you're trying to create warmth, such as in this piece. For this painting, it was much more effective to just stick to my earth tones, my browns, my oranges, yellows, and then lighter shades of those colors. If you want to learn how to paint this squirrel, I have a full two-part tutorial on my Patreon, and it's over two hours long, and I explain in detail what I do, how I do it, as well as why I do it. This two-part session is available either at the $4 level or the $9 level. My Patreon is just fairly new, so there will be more and more videos coming up. And there will be videos such as how to paint horses, how to paint dogs, cats, 
tigers, lions, you name it. There are lessons in both oils and pastels, so it's fun and there will be a wide range of subject matters just to keep it more interesting and to give people a broader range of knowledge than just painting one subject matter all the time. If you're curious, the link will be down below in the description, so go ahead and have a look at my Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.